I uh, first came to know Christ as my personal Lord and Savior when I was about 23 years old. I had already had uh, an opportunity to finish high school, go into the military, and at that point felt that I became a man, majored in business and minor in economics, came out wanting to uh, make a lot of money, and uh, here at 23 years of age, I was at a point where I was financially uh, independent pretty much for my work. I was newly married about a year, and uh, and that was not going that great. And markets had turned in a way that uh, made it where I was going. I was basically financially insolvent, and I didn't know where to turn. Um, I lost a sense of of uh, reason to live, and turned on the TV one, one morning and realized that not only was I financially insolvent, but I was spiritually bankrupt. Got on my knees and I asked the Lord to come into my life and all that I am, all that I'm not, I was His. At that point, you know, I felt that there was a sense of peace that things were going to work out and I needed to get back to going to church and so the next morning I did go to church. I was glad I made that first step, not realizing that when I said all I am, all I'm not, I'm yours. I now could see things differently than I did before. And so I started giving where I wasn't giving before. I was very greedy and I wanted things out for myself. And as I gave, uh, more opportunities came my way. And within six months, I was financially out of debt. When I was 45 years old, I was, uh, they pulled the tumor out of my chest and they told me that I had the incurable uh, medical condition. And so they changed my focus a little bit uh, at that point in time. I was blessed with the woman that uh, I married that um, is a registered nurse. Some four years ago, I'd actually had died. And, uh, and after, uh, you know, my wife was trained obviously to to bring, bring me back. And the miracle of the whole thing is after 30 years, she chose to do that. <laughs> I started learning more about the kingdom of heaven, not here, but also what was happening in the next world because I started giving hope to others that were in a similar type of situation. I was able to pray with them, give them peace, uh, come to, give them the opportunity to know Christ for themselves. Uh, because a lot of people were without any hope. Through that, I've been able to have peace that passed all understanding. Uh, I've been able to uh, be blessed with a lot more years than than uh, uh, many of the physicians had uh, thought was possible. I think just as the disciples did, uh, they had trials and tribulations in their lives, and sharing the gospel and preaching the gospel. Many have given up their life. Uh, we're, we're kind of blessed in this country where we don't always see the price that people pay um, for the gospel, sharing the good news. But um, the benefits outweigh the price that you pay.